So we had a little bit of a, a kind of a scare with Lucy. So I did my own extensions and I will show you the products. We also officially finished the half bath laundry room. He is ready to start kindergarten. And with that said, I have been really back and forth for years and especially within the last few months about what we were gonna do for him education wise. How are they? Good. Yeah? Now how many have you had now? So how many did you have before? Five. Five, right? And how many Five. you got in your hand? Two. Okay, so you got five at first. And then you add two more. So say five. Five. Two. No. What comes up to five? Look at my hands. Six. Six. And? Seven. Yep. So that means five plus two equals? Seven. Very good. Good start. I'm glad you like them at least. Mommy, I love You grabbed one from up there too? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Good, I'm glad. I like it. <laughs> Why not? Because there's no syrup on it, right? No syrup. Okay, we'll put it back on the plate. You want me to put some syrup on the plate? So you can dip it? Mommy, I want sausage. You want some sausage? Yeah, sausage. Okay, well, I'm not going to make French toast sticks because I already made pancakes, but you can... Listen, you want some syrup to dip the pancakes in? No. Why not? But you were eating it over there and you liked it. Now you don't like it? Why not? Because why? Pancakes. Yeah, they're delicious. Alright, alright. You want sausage and French toast sticks? Yeah. Alright. Don't spill it. Mom, I saw Lucy on the couch. You do it? Mommy, what? I did it. You did it? Yeah. Good job. I hey. it. I it. Yeah. You thirsty? Yep. Here's your breakfast. Go sit down. Mm -hmm. There you go. Whoa. Mommy. What? Big sausage in big biscuit. Big biscuit. Can you do that? Yep. Okay. The sausage is hot. Mommy and mom. Now it's hot. 
Mommy, that one. That's one. That one. Mm -hmm. Is that hot? Yep. Um, for it. I'm, it blowing, it's not going to help it. You just got to let it get some air and cool off. So. And I want to. What the? Really want to. Good morning, Krusty Crew. Morning. <laughs> I'm constantly gonna yell that all the time. Well, happy Wednesday, August 10th. I just yesterday, or no, just this morning, I edited it yesterday. I uploaded this morning a vlog from the beginning of May. I have footage from May 30th on my computer that I still do plan to edit and get up. And it looks like we're doing this thing again where I'm like manically vlogging and posting, um, which whatever is fine. As you can see, I started the morning making some pancakes before anybody woke up. Um, my husband went to work after he had some pancakes. Uh, Kane has been super, super picky with everything he eats, everything. And breakfast in particular has strictly been French toast sticks sausage and yogurt which he didn't ask for this morning so he's refusing to eat the pancakes and you know I guess to the point where it's just like whatever as long as you're gonna get food in your stomach then just eat whatever you please because I can't just I don't want to argue so I just I guess I have a lot of like kind of updating to do in this vlog I don't really know what this is gonna consist of mostly but I do have some updating to do I may or may not have to run into a target pickup because uh, I'm running low on creamer I do need more either Lysol or Microban, and we're actually running low on French toast sticks, so I'm gonna have to get more of those. But other than that, hello, welcome to today's vlog. I'm not gonna do too much chit chatting right now. Uh, like I said, I wanna show you guys some updates. I want to tell you some updates, and we'll just take it from there. Actually, thinking about it, one update that I can give about. Uh, Little Miss Lucy girl. I know you gotta go out. I just wanted to show your face. You gotta go out. You go out. You go out. You go pee pee. She's like, stop taunting me and put me outside. <laughs> so we had a little bit of a, a kind of a scare with Lucy because she had gotten sick in the middle of the night, like a few days before we left for vacation, and it didn't look like normal vomit. Uh, vomiting is normal for her because. She has become very, very used to being fed human food, thanks to my kids. And because of that, she doesn't really tend to eat her dog food and she'll get to a point of like starving herself and there's days where she doesn't get fed from the kids as much as other days. And those days she's starving by the end of the night, she scoffs her food and then she's puking in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, so she had gotten sick. I was a little concerned, took her to the vet. She hadn't been to the vet in a while anyway. Um, she's been perfectly healthy, so I don't like take her regularly. Judge all you please. I don't take her regularly, I don't have the need to. Um, but she got some blood work, she's perfectly healthy, everything was fine. They seem to have thought it was just because her uh, stomach lining may have been a little bit irritated from being so empty. Because that day in particular, she actually didn't eat any food. So when she puked, there was no food in it, but it was concerning. Um, but they, now, uh, if, if you guys have been here a while, you've seen Lucy, obviously, for the last, she'll be here, she'll be seven years old in September, so over six years we've had her, and she's always been fairly slim. It's just how she's always been, and it's not like she is not fed or underfed. She does undereat, but on her own accord, um, but, sorry if this is distracting. Uh, her vet just said that she was on the skinnier side, so she suggested, which I already started actually before I even took her, or I'm sorry, I, I prepped for her uh, and mentally prepped to start giving her rice every day uh, with her food. And her vet actually recommended that she be given carbs throughout the day, bread, pasta, rice, potatoes. Um, so she has been spoiled rotten lately and she's getting more human food just kind of on a regular basis, at least twice a day. Um, she's obviously small and her stomach is tiny, so I don't need to give her like a whole bowl of this stuff, but like half a cup <clears throat> of some type of carb twice a day. Um, and she's been really good with that. She hasn't puked since then. She's doing a lot of begging, but that's not new either. But uh, 
yeah, she's lived about half her life expectancy at this point. And um, uh, many of you know kind of the importance you know Lucy has in my life and, and what she kind of did for me before I even had kids. So it's really important to me that just the rest of her life, which is roughly the amount of time we've already had her, is the amount of time she has left. And I want to make that just really, really special for her and make sure that she's happy and, and, and well. So uh, that's been a top priority of, of ours to keep her you know, happy, not get so frustrated with her, um, and just really uh, show her all the love and, and give her lots of good food. So she's been very lucky there. Have you been a spoiled rotten girl, huh? You've been a spoiled rotten girl. You should have been a spoiled rotten girl. She's such a love. She's always such a love and she's such a mama's girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not getting the treat, you just had a pancake. You want a treat? Oh my gosh, I don't know if you could have seen that. Uh. You want a treat? <laughs> you want a treat? 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 Eat a girl. You crazy. See where we are? And do you hear that? Nothing! I'm so happy I have a husband who knows what the heck he's doing with <laughs> household things uh, because now this is no longer the noisy bathroom. This actually just, I could turn the fan on and off as I please. I, I wanted to give you guys another. I guess update, um, something I just want to share. I, for the first time now, because I'm on day three, uh, gave a little wash to my DIY lash extensions. Um, I still, I, well, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. So, I talked about this on my Instagram, if you don't follow me there, it's always linked below, and it always pops up every like five or so minutes on my vlogs. And I spoke about this. I have had lash extensions in the past, and I loved them, but I just cannot afford the upkeep. And we're in 2022 where you can like just essentially do everything yourself that you want. Um, so I did my own extensions, if you will. I don't know if they'd really be considered extensions because they're not done the same way, but whatever. They're the individual lashes and I will show you the products. But right now, like I said, I just washed them for the first time because I didn't want to get them wet for like 24 hours. And I used uh, Shea Moisture baby soap so that it was nothing harsh and cleaned them. And now I'm just taking a little spoolie and just kind of brushing through them just like I would um, getting regular extensions. I don't really know per se. I did some research about how to do what I did. I followed this girl on YouTube and did pretty much exactly what she did with very similar products and uh, uh, for application, but I didn't look up like aftercare i'm just caring for them in the same way i remember to care for like actual extensions but yeah so i just washed them like i said for the first time with some baby soap and um just kind of brushed through them they're definitely not perfect the one side i feel looks better than the other but this is my first time ever doing them but i think they came out really good um i like wispier looking lashes i'm not for like the full real like butterfly looking lashes so that's just my personal uh, you know, preference on that. So, these are so dirty. While I'm just cleaning my lenses off here, I could say really quick too, I don't know if the vlog that I haven't edited yet says this or not, so I'll just say it now. The vlog that I did just post and edit, I talked about an e.l.f. mascara that I said I loved. It looked great. Um, I hated it. <laughs> By the end of the day, it like bled onto my under eyes and was just not... I wasn't happy with that. I don't I don't appreciate that. It wasn't lasting. It was just melting. Um, so I would give it like a 6 out of 10 because application was simple. My lashes looked good in the moment, uh, but for like lasting long wear or whatever, uh, I did not, would not recommend. Anyway, I will link all of this below. I kind of am, I'm wanting to make an Amazon storefront and like get into the affiliate program because I like to share a lot of stuff that I get from Amazon and 
how I use it and what I use it for and just stuff that I use and uh, I, I like to share it because I like the stuff so I'm thinking about doing that but anyway I will link this stuff below the individual lashes that I use are the kiss falscara wispy something enlightening wisps oh, lengthening wisps oh my gosh I can't I can't read it on the camera uh yeah so that's four different rows of different sizes so essentially I will get one two three uses out of this and these are said to last up up to two weeks I well we'll see I'm going with it right now they're still perfectly intact for me right now like I said the one side looks better than the other but anyways I use this um and then I used for adhesive I don't know how to pronounce this product name uh, am I going to try? Kalalis Long Lasting Eyelash Adhesive. This is the adhesive that I did see in the video I watched for a tutorial and it had really good ratings and it's supposed to be long lasting and yada yada. And then as a sealant, I used this stuff. It is called Butte. Uh, Butere Lash Coating. <laughs> I can't freaking pronounce this stuff, but whatever. It's a lash sealant for these type of extensions. And I did it in that order, put on the adhesive. Then what I did, I took some tweezers. Um, actually, first thing I did was curl my lashes, which I'm gonna do in a minute here as well. It's what I like to do every morning to kind of just perk them up a little bit. Uh, but I went in order from inner to outer, from smallest to largest. I actually went from inner to outer on this eye and outer to inner on this eye and looking at them I feel like it was definitely smarter to go from out to in um so I'll be doing that on both sides next time I do decide to do this but like I said on the inner I just used the shortest and went in order to the longest on the outside um to kind of give like that cat eye effect like I said these are lengthening lashes they're not like volumizing lashes so it might not do as much justice for like a cat eye look as um some like volumizing ones would be or um hybrid whatever you want to call them but I'm loving it it's took a day to get used to the feeling of them on my eyelashes I really don't feel them at all anymore every morning so far I do wake up and they're a little wonky from the adhesives I, I don't know they're a little wonky every morning and I have to just kind of like brush through them which is fine and like I said it's my first time washing them so I'm gonna give them a little curl I also got a new lash curler from Target I can't do this in here um because the one that I have have had is so old I'm also not squeezing real hard on this because it will stick a little bit and I'm really not trying to ruin my actual lashes so look at the difference already with that one like just a little quick little curl and already it's just like perked up and looking nice so see before on this one and after again I didn't even clamp down real hard at all every time I I curl it I can feel this inner one like I said I started on the inner one on this eye and I shouldn't have because it just it looks better and it feels nicer I'll just brush through it again for a second and yeah this is day three they are not moving at all um I'm debating purchasing a remover for when I do want them off or if like if if one strip like falls off I'm not going to go and like replace it I'm probably just going to take them all off maybe give it a break or redo it right away if I feel like it hasn't done any damage and I'm content with it. I love them. I feel like they look legit like some lengthening extensions and I'm really happy with them and I could definitely do this like it wasn't hard. The next time I do put like a full set on I'll do a how I do it. I'm not going to call it a tutorial because I'm not professional but I will show how I do it and um, if anybody wants to see for the next time. So look out for that. Maybe I'll do like a quick shout out on my Instagram um, when that's coming up so you can prepare for it if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, so that's a fun little thing that I've done that I'm really happy with. But now I'm gonna go eat some breakfast. The kids are probably gonna be asking for their first morning snack at this point soon. And just uh, continue on the day. Like I said, I have more stuff to show you guys and update you on that I'd like to show you and update you on. So I'll catch you on the flip side.
Is that yellow? Yeah. Say yellow? No. Very good. Mom, you mix it up. You have to mix that. That's brown. 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 Very good. Oh, my clothes. Look what color it's turned into. Yeah. do this every once in a while where I literally just put meditation radio on Pandora on the phone or on the TV rather and just have them do something <laughs> quiet and just sit on the table Tape. what do you want a new piece of paper yeah. all right um, <clears throat> have them do something quiet and with their hands and stuff and um, listen to the serenity it's really really nice to do at any point of the day okay I had to take a second break because the painting lasted all of eight seconds and now they're over it already. But I'm gonna do a couple little updates and then I'm gonna wrap this up because it's already pretty long with my chatting. But um, I know in the vlog I just edited from the beginning of May, I was talking about our um, washer that had broken and we ended up getting a new washer and dryer. We also officially finished the half bath laundry room and it's one of my that, favorite rooms in the house. Mom, I love how it came along. That broken. Okay. Uh, I'm not like the best at recreating like Pinterest worthy looking things, but I'm still really pleased with it. So here is the grand reveal. Uh, I can insert a little before here of what this started out as to begin with a move in this house. I had the vision of having a half bath laundry and now it is pretty much complete other than we need a cover on the light switch. Uh, but other than that, it's here it is. So this like random closet that was here became my vision. It's a little bit of a tight space, but it is a half bath and laundry. And I feel like anybody, my husband's a pretty big dude and he fits comfortably in here, like just comfortably where if it's any tighter, it would be uncomfortable. But this is the finished product. Um, yeah, I've, I'm really, really pleased with it. The whole kind of like modern look. I got these off of Etsy. We are body positive in this bathroom and everybody has made fun of me. Not everybody, a lot of people really like it, but I've had a couple people make fun of me. Actually, even my husband uh, made fun of me that I chose a dad bod and a curvy girl. Um, not so much the curvy girl, but the dad bod and he took offense to it. <laughs> um, but I thought it was cute, very, um, you know, body positive in here. Uh, I did print this out myself. I got the idea from Pinterest. Cute little funny saying here. Um, I had this vase and some fake eucalyptus. I've had this and then I got this idea. Actually, I came up with this idea fully on my own, but it's not definitely not like my own idea. Like no one's ever done it. I've seen it before. These carafes uh, that have the detergent and the softener, which just makes it easier to just kind of grab that. I'm here, load up the washer. Um, and then we did get a new matching washer and dryer. 
which look very similar to our old ones. They are just very much updated, and they're actually, the drums are a little bit bigger. Hi, cutie. And uh, we could fit more laundry in there, so I got a fake string of pearls here with this little $5 basket I got at the Bullseye whatever at Target. Um, this rug is actually from Five Below, a little jute rug. These tiles are from Amazon. Um, this, what do you call this? Faucet is from Lowe's. And this mirror is from Home Goods. And these frames are from Home Goods. Those shelves are from Amazon, which I really liked because I didn't have anywhere to put a towel in here. So this is like perfect for that. Um, that towel is also from Amazon. I don't love this whole setup here. I don't really know what to do with that. Like I, hey, like I said, I'm not like Pinterest worthy, whatever, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's finished. We have a uh, half bath laundry and I still just think it's so cool and like I'm so proud of us that like we came into this house as a one bathroom and we now have a one and a half bath like and it's so convenient as a family of four to have two toilets in the house like it's so convenient. One of these days, not in this house, but one of these days we'll have more than one shower and that will make life even more convenient. So yeah, that's one update. So before I wrap this up, I just wanted to give one more little update. There's definitely, I'm sorry, there's definitely more that I could just like sit here and chit chat about, um, which is probably the reason why I've pulled my camera out, honestly, because I feel like I tend to pull it out more so that I'm actually eventually speaking to someone and not to inanimate objects all day because like my mind just goes and when there's a lot on my mind and I'm like kind of dealing with a lot, I tend to speak to inanimate objects. So why not speak to a camera that'll eventually actually get to somebody. <laughs> this is one update is that these two have been just, whoo, the uh, small age gap in between them really shines through in their argumentative uh, banter lately which brings me to my final update and that is that um maverick through this time he graduated pre-k and he turned the big five years old which means that he is ready to start kindergarten um and with that said i have been really back and forth for years and especially within the last few months about what we were going to do for him education wise and without getting into the whole kind of where my mind is or why my mind is where it is, the whole political standpoint of everything, um, I love you too. Uh, we have chosen to homeschool, right? Mommy's gonna be your teacher. You're gonna stay home and we're gonna learn together. I wanna learn right now. Well, we got a couple weeks, but this is something I've been thinking really, really long and hard about. I have had many like sleepless nights over it. I've had many anxieties over it. And I still do like, honestly, every single day at some point of the day, I think to myself like, screw it, send it to public school. It's convenient for you. Uh, it'll give you a break. It'll give Kane a break. The only real pros that we can find in sending Maverick to public school, given our beliefs and just conversations that we've had, is really just comes down to kind of selfish conveniences. And though, this Mommy. let's see how many times I can go uninterrupted to finish my thought process <sighs> which again that's that's exactly the point I was making selfish conveniences is what was leading me to consider public school at all granted I say me this is a conjoined decision between my husband and I my husband and my in-laws specifically and myself are just really not against public school per se, but it's just not what we want for our kids. Public school is not what we want for our kids for many different reasons. Like I said, I'm not going to get into, but overall, this does have to be a decision of mine because I am then going to be taking on the role of teacher. I'm really, really lucky and blessed to have the support system that I have going into this. I'm also really blessed and lucky to have friends and really close friends with the knowledge of homeschooling, with the background of homeschooling. Um, and with a lot of information that I don't know because this is all so new to me and that's what's made it really scary to just kind of make the decision to do it. Do I know if this is going to be long term forever? No. And I think that's one of the things that scared me the most as well because I kept battling in my head like, oh, well, what's the point if this isn't forever? And whatever. This all being new to me was one of my fears because I have a big fear of newness and change and new things. I'm a creature of habit. I find comfort in familiarity and this is brand new territory and this is unknown territory so there's still a lot of anxieties going into this but i am 
the more research that I do and the more I'm trying to mentally and physically prepare for this, the better I'm feeling about it. And overall, just where I was going now that it's clicking was the long term, it feeling the right thing to do right now. Also, probably not the hardest thing to do right now because it is just a kindergarten level. So I'm not going to throw away what I feel like in my heart of hearts right now is the right thing to do because the future is unknown. I'm not gonna let that stop me from jumping into this right now. I am home. Um, I have to be home for at least another two and a half years before I can pursue anything for myself. And then, you know, we'll, we'll when we cross that bridge, or what's, what's the phrase? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But right now this feels right and that's what we're doing and I've officially made the decision to not register him into public school and we will start homeschooling in the next few weeks. I have some prepping to do. I want to, I'm not fortunate enough to have this big Darling. basement or this big room for school or even really space for school. What do you say? Space. I only really kind of have the corner of the boys playroom, which isn't even a ton of space, but we, I am going to try to make work. I'm gonna to try to make it functional for school time. And um, I want it to be a corner that inspires us to be involved in learning. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of prepping over the next few weeks to prepare no, for that. More in there. No, there's not baby. I also have not even fully decided on the curriculum. I'm tossing up between three in particular that are more uh, Christian faith based, which is what I'm going for. And I also have to look at financially. Uh, I didn't realize how simple it could be. Like I said, I'm learning as I go here. So I'm learning that some of the fears that I had as far as like finances and just like my ability and which I haven't gotten into it, so I don't really know yet, but just from seeing and learning and listening, I'm learning that there are ways to get into something like homeschooling, homeschooling in particular, and it be able to work for your circumstances. So uh, point being, I have stumbled upon three curriculums in particular that I really do like as far as what their curriculums are about and how they incorporate uh, Christianity. And two of the three I know for sure are definitely affordable because they're actually free. Um, and the third one I haven't really fully looked into yet, but I have to do more research. So I have a few more weeks to kind of decide and figure out how exactly we're approaching this. But point is, I have officially decided, we have officially decided that homeschooling is the route for us for this year at least. Uh, and like I said, we'll, we'll roll with the punches as time goes on here. And yeah, so like I said, there's a lot more that I could talk about, but I've already been, already been going off for the last six minutes on here and I know I talked a lot earlier as well so I'm going to stop this here hoping that other things I want to talk about and other things I have coming in that I just want to share um, will inspire me to pick up the camera more and to get my butt at my computer and edit instead of laying in bed on TikTok uh, and yeah Mommy, take it from there come here you guys want to say goodbye because I'm going to close out the vlog goodbye so Bye. that is it for today's vlog thank you so much for being here if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Tell them give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. Press that. And subscribe. And subscribe and click that bell. Click that bell. You can tell someone watches YouTube. Okay, well, I hope you're all enjoying your day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and we'll see you soon in our next one. Bye. 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 <laughs> Let me try. Can I try? Sure. Oh, this, this. There you go. Oh, you want to do it too? Okay. Bye. 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 You gotta go.